going to show you a really easy way to create a course with turn by turn navigation in it. Now the first thing we need to do is go to a website called www.gpsies.com and create an account with them. This will enable you to store all your courses that you write. Okay, once the account is open, we then go to create track on track creator which will bring up the screen okay what we're going to do now is basically reduce the speed down to three miles an hour which gives us the early warning signals in the turn by turn navigation okay we're going to name the track I'm going to name the track just for test purposes Garmin Phoenix 3 test I'm going to full screen mode and we're going to put the start point in. There we go. Right, I'm going to drag the map over to where I'm going to start the route from. Zoom in. There we go. And we're going to go follow the road, which takes us along the line of the road rather than just in a straight line track. Just makes it a little bit more accurate when following the route. Okay, we're going to click off follow road uh, because I'm going to go along some pavements which don't actually follow the line of the road. So the first thing I'm going to do is drawing out the basic route. Now I should explain that this will only work on a route which is more than two kilometers long. And the maximum turn by turn navigation points you can put in one route is 50. So anything more than that you'll need to split your route into parts. Now we're carrying the route along various footpaths as is marked on the map. Now the more accurate you do make your route the better the turn by turn navigation is going to be. Now we're coming up to the end of the route here now. And what we're going to do now is go back to the start of the route. And we're also going to click on waypoints in which we can start our turn by by turn navigation points. Now the first one I'm going to click is just down here and that is going to be a right turn and it's going to be over the M53 motorway and across M53 and the symbol I'm going to use on the watch is a right hand arrow. I'm going to click save along to the next one and you can see here delete WP2 and put onto path and the symbol I'm going to use for this one is a straight arrow next one delete the WP3 and a cross road and it's going to be a right hand turn again so I'll click on that one and save and the next waypoint so again as long as you do under 50 waypoints or prompts you'll be fine on this okay onto path and it's going to be another right turn and we'll save that. Okay, now there's me fine tuning the waypoint. So, again, the more accurate you get it, the better. Uh, you can't actually place a waypoint over a root point, but you can slide the waypoint after creating it. Now, here, there's a small picnic area which I want to mark on the map. So, there we go, picnic area. And the symbol I'll put for this one. It's going to be a food symbol and save that one. 
So again you can use this turn by turn navigation not only for turns but for points of interest and they might include geocaching points, um, viewpoints, sightseeing points, areas of danger in fact. Multiple uses this one. There we go, just fine tune another waypoint there. And I'll add a few more waypoints in just to finish the route off. But this next section I'll speed up because I think you've got the idea now. So I'll just finish the route off. Once the route's done, we then need to leave full screen, save the route, and we need to tell the route what activity we're going to use it for. Now in this instance we're going to use it for walking, and then we'll scroll down and actually save the route. Now it will give us a summary of the route, and what we need to do now we need to save the route and export it. Now we're going to download the route, and this is important. We need to download the route as a TCX file rather than a GPX or a Garmin Fit file. The watch can't process either. Download it. If you download it as a GPX file, or a Garmin Fit file, it won't have the waypoints in it. Now, we need to connect your Garmin device or Phoenix 3 to the USB port of the computer and open the course TCX to Fit file. Set the speed again for your early warning. OK. Convert the file and then browse to where you have stored the file. In this case, it's on my desktop. Click on the file to be converted and click open. There we go, you can see the fit file has been placed on the desktop. Now this tool will convert the TCX file into a fit file that the watch will understand with waypoints otherwise the route will have no waypoints on it. Now we're going to browse to the actual watch drive either my computer or in this case the Macintosh HD folder, open the Garmin folder which is the device and there's two options here you can either save it in the new files folder or you can save it directly into the courses folder. In this case I'm going to save the fit file directly into the new files folder. There we go. It doesn't really make any difference which one you save it in. The watch will still respond the same. OK, we're going to eject the watch or remove the watch from its cradle and it will update. Now I'm just going to check to see if the folder with the course has been updated. So I'm going to navigate to settings, down to navigation, press the start button, go into courses and it should bring in the Garmin Phoenix 3 test route which is 1.99 miles. Now we're going to have a look at the map to make sure it has downloaded properly and there it is. Now we can also have a look at the elevation which is always handy to know before going on a course. So quite a relatively flat course there. Okay, to actually carry out the course, you select Do Course, select the sport you need to do. In this case, it's going to be hike. There we are. And what I'm going to do now is show you some of the data fields in my screens. Now, the most important data screen here is this one. And on it, I've included Waypoint Next, which will give us the name of the waypoint or the direction, and the distance to the next waypoint. Right, now we're going to test it out in the field. You can see here we're actually following the route, pretty close on. And now we can see the next waypoint is over the M53 motorway. Now the watch will give us an early warning signal of the next waypoint. 
There we go. 49 question mark question mark. Now those question marks are a firmware issue which has been fixed in the next firmware and is currently in a beta state at the moment. Uh, now we're coming up to the actual waypoint marker. Turn right over the M53. I hope that's helped. It's a really handy tool to have. Thank you.